Let's do a proximal humerus insertion. I've got the arm in the correct position and I've already landmarked. I've also cleansed the skin per my facility policy or protocol. The next thing you need to do is prime your Easy Connect extension set with approximately one ml of saline. I'm gonna attach my needle set to the driver. There's a magnetic connection. Hold it on and pull the cap straight off. I'm gonna insert through skin and touch bone gently without engaging the driver by pulling the trigger, ensuring that I can see at least one black line above the skin before I engage the driver by pulling the trigger, and I can. You can see I've chosen the yellow 45 millimeter needle set, which is appropriate for this patient that weighs greater than 40 kilos in the proximal humerus. I'm gonna provide one continuous insertion at a 45 degree angle to the bone and at a 45 degree angle as if I'm aiming towards the opposite, the opposite hip. And I can insert this needle set until the hub is close to the skin. I'm gonna hold the needle set up and remove the driver straight off without twisting or turning. Now I can hold the hub and turn left or counterclockwise removing the stylet. I have my needle vise on a flat surface and I'm gonna place the stylet straight in there and then discard it in another larger needle collector. And that meets all standard sharp safety precautions. Next, I'm gonna place my Easy Stabilizer dressing and then the Easy Connect. I'll pull the tabs securing my IO to the skin. I'm gonna pull back to see if I have a marrow return, and I do. That's a good confirmation that your IO is in place, but it's not mandatory. Your IO can still be in place without having the marrow return. But what I do need to have is a flush. No flush, no flow. So I'm gonna flush this adult IO with five to 10 ml of normal saline and it flushed well, so I know that my IO is in place. I can attach this tab to the side here. I'm, as I infuse my fluids and medications per the physician order, I'm gonna check to make sure there's no leaking around the site, and I'm also gonna feel behind the extremity for any coolness, check for pallor, or any collection of fluid. Remember, that's gonna be um, unlikely since the IO has a less than 1% serious complication rate.